All right, guys. So as you all know, I put a lift on my truck. Uh, it's a Fabtech lift, 4-inch lift. Um, the truck itself looks great. Um, but uh, after a little while, I was noticing that um, it did scrape just a tiny bit. Now, you can't really tell that much, um, but you can see some of the lines here uh, that are inside. Now, it, it hasn't really chewed up into the tire uh, too badly, but uh, you don't want it to ultimately... Uh, cause some damage you know if you hit a large bump or something like that so what i did is i got these wheel spacers uh they're a quarter inch thick so hopefully that makes uh, all the difference in the world now one thing that you don't really think about when you lift your truck up is uh what kind of jack you'll need so i went and purchased a different jack but it wasn't tall enough uh but so anyways uh yeah we'll basically uh make it work uh, when you're doing this stuff, always remember to have your parking brake on and uh, make sure you got something in the back to uh, stop the truck from rolling and stuff like that. But I'm going to throw these on and I will let you guys know how it goes. I know a lot of my friends on here have uh, Chevys, so uh, we'll see how they work out. Hopefully it turns out great and uh, you guys can do it yourselves. All right, so the spacer itself uh, fits perfectly. Basically, after you put it in here, the only thing that you have to do is, is uh, put the wheel back on and, and tighten it. It goes uh, basically behind the wheel. Uh, I know that, you know, it's not that wide, but, I mean, it makes all the difference in the world when it comes to getting that little bit of extra clearance so you don't get that uh, tiny bit of rub and uh, wear down your tires. All right, so... One thing I forgot to mention is uh, these are 35 inch tires. So 35, 35s on a uh, four inch lift is uh, pretty much as high as you can go. Now, now that I got it on, you can see the clearance here, basically a finger width, which is about, you know, what that width of the spacer was. So obviously it was uh, a little close for comfort, which uh, the spacer seemed to seem to have worked because uh, now I got quite a bit more space uh, than it previously had. So my tire's safe. It's gonna be safe while I'm driving and safe if I hit a bump. So that's the important thing here. Pretty easy install. Uh, always remember to tighten your lug nuts after you lower the wheel. Uh, other than that, uh, we'll get started on the next one. All right, so I didn't really do a good job of showing you guys, uh, you know, the first one to be able to compare. So before I, I've got the jack ready to go and ready to lift it up but before i do that i wanted to show you uh how close that strut upper control arm is actually to the, the tire there so as you can see i mean it's it's super close uh you can see you know on the last tire where it was touching these these points that are here and uh and then scraping on the side but i mean that's how close it was one good dig and uh you know you can cut your tire open things like that it's not it's not safe it's not practical some of these shops that uh you know do you know these lifts and stuff like that for you they don't really care about uh your safety you know they're gonna make it work because they're gonna make it work because you're the customer and they want to take your money and they want to make you happy but uh in reality, you know, it's not very practical. So just keep all that in mind. Make sure you check your stuff. Check the work after it's being done to your vehicle. We're going to get this one on. And then uh, the next thing I'm going to do here today is I'm going to take off this uh, extra little lip that's uh, on the bottom of the bumper here. Just to make it look a little, a little higher, which will be good. All right, guys. So uh, I'm going to get this off and see... How the if there's any damage or how damaged the inside of the tire is now one thing i didn't notice on the other one those little points all have these tiny little if you could see them these little just little rubber dots you know when the tire's brand new on the other tire they were gone and i take it because they had just been rubbed off so uh, i'm gonna get the tire off here and we can see uh we can see basically the damage all right there we go and anything oh we got some scrapes here a little bit of a uh, little bit of wear 
Oh yeah, you can tell it's been it's been rubbing through here. See how it's kind of rough there? So yeah, these spacers were definitely needed. All that money spent on these tires could have been gone had I not. All right, wheels on. Let's uh, check to see that clearance. And boom, plenty of space there. I mean, it's not what it is factory, but you know what? It's it's safe. It'll work, and uh, I can get around without worrying. Perfect. All right, guys, so we got her done. Uh, super simple for those of you wondering. I got the wheel spacers. They're universal for 16 bucks at AutoZone. I think I paid 15 bucks after a military discount, but uh, great product, easy to put in. Uh, the other thing, too, is I know some of you are probably wondering. Uh, it doesn't cause the wheel to, to come out uh, you know, very far at all, so it's not going to get a bunch of mud or anything like that trapped onto the side of my car because the wheel sticks out a crazy amount or anything like that. So uh, that's the good thing about it. It's just a quarter of an inch. Now the flaps uh, still stick out just about the same distance. So if you're looking at it from, from this side, um, you know, it's not too crazy or anything like that. So all in all, great product. Uh, thanks for watching. They're going to make it work because you're the customer and they want to take your money and they want to make you happy. But uh, in reality, you know, it's not very practical. So just keep all that in mind. Make sure you check your stuff. Check the work after it's being done to your vehicle. We're going to get this one on. And then uh, the next thing I'm going to do here today is I'm going to take off this uh, extra little lip that's uh, on the bottom of the bumper here just to make it look a little a little higher, which will be good. All right, guys, with the uh, help of my impact driver, uh, we got this air diffuser off. And I got to say, man, it it uh, it looks dope. I uh, I like the, the fact that you can see the tire. I mean, clearly, this thing was just meant to, to help, you know, a little bit of gas mileage by by deflecting the air another direction. But with the lift and stuff, it's not going to make that much of a difference. But the look itself without it, I mean, 10 times better. Uh, you can clearly tell that there's a lift on this truck and it just gives it a little bit more of a look of uh, added clearance.